It's been about two and a half years since we caught a view of a total lunar eclipse and finally another one coming our way overnight tonight. Now, if you remember, a lunar eclipse is when the moon passes through the Earth's shadow. And since we're just looking at the moon, no special glasses needed for this one. The Earth's shadow has two sections. The inner area, which is considered the full shadow, barely any light passes into that area, and it already passed through the Earth's atmosphere. And as it passes through the Earth's atmosphere, only the red light gets through it, and that's why the moon is going to have a little bit more of a red color to it in this area. Outside that, you have the partial shadow where a little bit more light does get through, and that just darkens the moon a little bit. So this all gets underway at 1130 tonight. At that point, the moon just begins to enter the partial shadow, so you won't notice a big change right away. But as we go towards 1210 early tomorrow morning, that's when the entire moon will be in the partial shadow, and that's when the moon really starts to be noticeably darker. And also at that point, the tip of the moon begins to enter the full shadow, and after that, you'll start to see the red color get to that. The entire moon will be in the full shadow then at 126 in the morning, and that's when the entire thing will have more of that rusty red coloring to it, and it's going to last for about an hour until 2.30. At that point, the moon will start to push back into the partial shadow, losing more and more of its red coloring, and by 3.50 in the morning, the moon begins to exit the partial shadow and should be completely out of any shadow by 4.30 early Friday morning. Now, if you missed this one, don't worry. Another opportunity coming up in the semi-close future, March of next year.